Coach Rob Carter Show brought to you by Stop and Shop Auto Sales in Sylacauga. And Coach, after the forfeit last week, one and one, and we head into region play tomorrow night against a solid central of uh, Clay County volunteer football team. Right. Uh, Danny Horn's teams are always, you know, sound, fundamentally sound. They're going to not have to trick you. They're going to come at you, and you got to, uh, you know, you got to match them, you know, hat for hat. I mean, they, they're going to come out and, uh, give you a dose of we love football by you know laying them laying the wood to you. So we got to give it back, and we're excited. So uh, you know you you had the forfeit, and then you uh, got this game tomorrow night. What have you been able to accomplish in between time? You think? Well, you know uh, we got a little a head start, I guess you'd say, because we knew pretty early we weren't playing Lincoln, and we were able to watch uh, some film on you know Clay Central, and uh, you know be able to sit down and. Not that he changes much from year to year and then be able to observe him, you know, in person at, mm -hmm. at Benjamin Russell last Friday night. But we've had weather and other things that have, have delayed us in practice. But so we're fortunate that we were able to start last Thursday, uh, you know, preparing for them. But, you know, it's been a good week and the kids are excited to play. Talk a little bit about, uh, you know, actually uh, – Sylacauga losing to Lees, but a zero week. And, of course, you consider it game one, and then you get the forfeit last week. Uh, what kind of improvement do you expect from Lincoln, I mean, to Leeds, to Lincoln, and then now to Central of, of Clay County? Yeah, I mean, you know, we had to go in and watch film and, and figure out the things we needed to change that didn't make, make us successful against Leeds. And, you know, I'm looking at kicking game, our punt game and kicking game, uh, to improve there. That's an area where you a lot of times want to get some young people mm -hmm. in to give us special breathers with our kids going a lot of both ways. Uh, you know, you hope, we, even though we missed a game, you, you know, and we've run plenty, you, you would hope that, you know, our condition, you know, has, has improved. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get that Friday night condition, which is key uh, because we, had, we couldn't play mm -hmm. Lincoln. Uh, so, you know, you're looking at those things and just, you know, being able to improve some areas of, you know, uh, third down. I think that we gave up some third downs, uh, a, a few mistakes here and there. But, you know, you want to see every aspect of the, of, of the entire team. Do you team. get to look at a, a younger kids when you've got a, a situation like you've had the last week or so? Yes, we did. Uh, you know, we, we knew we had to have some grow up pretty quick, mm -hmm. you know, and, and have a lot more attention to them. And, understanding, I think, mentally that instead of, hey, you know, I'm a 10th grader or maybe even a 9th grader, that I don't need to be prepared, but now I think they do. You know, mentally we had to convince them, you guys are going to get some reps, so you better, you know, your focus needs to be right now, I'm in need of, of helping my team. So uh, it's been a good week for that. You talked about after the Leeds loss, you, you could tell in the kids' uh, eyes at halftime and, and by their body language that they were a tired football team and, and uh, you didn't play last week. Uh, you go up against a big physical uh, volunteer football team uh, tomorrow night. Uh, and, and, you know, there's nothing like gang speed, is there? That's right. Uh, you know, and they're in the same – I mean, me and Danny talked, uh, it's not yesterday, but day before, probably over an hour. Uh, the situation with from COVID, he's got some players here, there out. Uh, hadn't really affected us right now, thank the Lord. Uh, you know, and he's got a lot of kids playing both ways. And you can see how the fatigue is in, but he's had two games. Uh, you know, it just we look forward to it. There's no doubt about it. And I think the kids are, are ready to go, and we've had a great week. So, And you know what Danny Horn's going to do. He's not going to trick you. So the importance of Sylacauga establishing that run game early on. Right. I mean, you know, we've got one of the best running backs around. Uh, you know, have we done some things different? I, not different. I think it's just time to add it. It's gotten into your region play. You would have seen some last week that we, you know, we didn't use against Leeds because we do have three good running backs. But, uh, you know, you'll see, you know, I think we're progressing on the offensive line where we might hand the ball off a few more times. So. Region contest against uh, the Volunteers uh, on the road. Uh, you kids kind of grasp the opportunity there for them? Oh, yeah, they're excited. They understand the goal. It starts here. So you really like a, a playoff game, mm -hmm. you know, sort of pool play until you get to the, you know, if you make it into the uh, championship rounds, I guess you'd say. But, uh, 
you know, they're excited. They know Clay Central. They know the past. You know, they had, I don't think they beat them, and they got close last year. And uh, so, I mean, they're excited. Uh, there's no doubt. I, like I said, I love playing good football teams. Somebody you've got to play for four quarters. You've got to put it all out on line, you know, uh, and this is exactly what we're going to have to do. Does with it this kind one. of crank your tractor a little bit personally to get in competition like this? It does, and I love, you know, I respect Danny Horn. Like I said, when I speak to him, it's always over an hour. Mm -hmm. I really like the man. He, he's done great things for football, and we, we you know, I'm going to learn from my elders, especially a uh, Hall of Famer. Uh, so it's always great to play those those kind of coaches and their teams. Ben Russell had an opportunity to beat them last week. They did, uh, but that just tells you. I mean, you, you didn't see him get it nervous, or you know, Danny Horn has, has been there. That reputation of hard nosed football. We're gonna stay with it. The kids take on his his mentality. We're gonna continue to do what we do and and grind and you know, being there in the fourth quarter, and that's where they were and they won the game. You mentioned weather kind of hampering you a little bit, uh, but you had that week that uh, you were able to use too, but uh, how does that, or does it throw you off when you can't get on the field to practice? Uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know, you, mentally, it, it's, a, it's a tough thing, you know, as far as meetings, film, those sort of things. You know, you can keep the kids' attention, especially <laughs> when they're younger, about 10, 15 minutes, and uh, you know, but they did a good job. I mean, those guys come in. We don't ask them. We watch them film on Sunday. You'll see half the team come through, you know, late in the evening and coming out doing stuff, icing, those sort of things. But the kids were, have had a great – we've had some better weather, even though it rained. Yeah. A little bit cooler. It dropped out of them hundreds. So, you know, high 90s. And, uh, you know, I, unfortunately, I think we've covered everything. That's just, that's just a coach's feeling when you get to close to the game time, have you touched – on everything you needed to, you know, do. A player that has kind of caught your attention for the Aggies early in the season that said, hmm, this guy can really help us. Uh, I'd say Quan Beckham, the offensive lineman. He's really coming into himself and his own. Once he really, he's a strong kid. He plays left tackle, that tough position. Plays against, you know, a lot of, you know, defensive end is, a, is usually your stellar defensive lineman player, especially on that side. But I think Quan Beckham on the offensive line is, is is starting to feel his potential. He's got – he's really – he's just a junior. Uh, first start was last week against Leeds at offensive line. He did a good job. And this week he, he, he's done an excellent job of, of understanding he's six foot four, 260 pounds, 70 pounds, and he's starting to move people up with a lot more, I guess you say, vengeance you know, and violence. Uh, I, I've been really impressed up front with him. Uh, you know, I think defensively, you go back to a Dalton Miley, uh, plays defensive end for us. He's got a motor. I mean, I don't know it if it ever stops. You know, <laughs> he don't understand half speed. He's going to bring in every play mm -hmm. in practice, you name it, whatever position you put him in. But uh, I'm really impressed with those two guys in the trenches. You get four or five guys like that on your team, it can it work wonders, can't it? That's right. It's infectious, you know. I mean, you see those guys work, and uh, whoever they're next to, they start – you know, putting out like that too. So. All right, so Lacaga on the road to Central of uh, Clay County. The Volunteers kick off at seven o'clock tomorrow night. Chief Region matchup and Coach. Good luck to the Aggies. I know there'll be a big group of Sylacauga fans head over the mountain for let's, that one. Let's hope so. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, uh, so let's take them all down there and let's let's do something we hadn't done. All right. Coach Rob Carter, head football coach at Sylacauga High School. Our guest this morning. More day break after you. Take a look at this.